What's up everybody, Joe McHale here, owner of Best Made Docs here at my home office. And today I'm gonna to show you how our Easy Doc Builder app works. So, I got my coffee, got my laptop, let's get to it. All right, so from the home screen, uh, there's a couple different ways to get to the Doc Builder app. You can see in the links bar at the top, right there, we can click on it, or we can scroll down a little bit and we can find it right there. So let's click Start Designing Now. Um, okay, so there's five steps to the process. Up here you can see your progress, right? We're now we're on step one. Step one is to choose your dock choice. Uh, for our example, let's just choose tip-in dock here. Uh, step two is to pick your decking choice. Again, see we have cedar, sure step, and PVC. I'm gonna choose gray, sure step. Okay, now we need to enter some information about where we're gonna be putting the dock. So first thing is your deck height. This is your distance uh, from the top of your dock, which is your walking surface, down to the water. That's gonna be dictated by the wave height. Okay, so for example, if you get a wave that's six inches, you probably want to keep your dock 12 inches out of the water. So let's put 12 inches in here. That's usually a good number. Uh, then we're going to put in our dock length. That's be between zero and 120 feet. Let's do 32 feet just to make a nice easy dock. And once we put in the 32 and then click outside that box, we can see a whole bunch of fields open up where we could put in our water depths. So at shore, let's put zero. Let's work down through here quick. Tab uh, 12, 24. 36, and then let's do, uh, let's do 72 at the end. Click next. Okay, so now we're in our design grid. Over here on the right, you can see we have our docks that we can choose. And if we click on this here, we have our accessories we can choose. So let's start off with our docks. Uh, I think for this one, I'm gonna use a ramp section. So whenever we click a ramp section, it automatically snaps to the start because that's where a ramp is used. We try to add a second ramp. No good, won't let us do it. Okay, so let's, uh, let's add some stuff now here. Um, let's add a four by eight dock put there. Now, as you can see up here in the top left hand corner, while we're adding sections in, the price is automatically updating for us. We can keep an eye on our budget while we're designing. Uh, every time we hit one of these buttons, it comes over here. And then what we do is we just click on it, drag it up. As you can see, when I move around, it wants to snap to something. So wherever it's highlighted to, when you let go of it, that's where it's gonna go. Okay, let's see here, move along. Okay, uh, so I think for this one, I'm gonna rotate it you grab on the spinny uh, arrows up here, we can rotate a section. Maybe I want to put this one over here. Suppose I had a, a jet ski lift there or a boat lift there I needed to access from the front. Um, that's where I might use this. No, no, I think on this one I also want a nice big patio area. Drag it up there, release it. Uh, if I want to get rid of a section of dock, what I do is I have to click on it once. And you can see that it unsnaps and it'll give you that little red X where we can use to delete it. So I'll delete that out, let's add it back in. Bring that up over there. Okay, now it's time for some accessories. I think I'm gonna put on a couple of bumpers. Um, let's see up here in the front. In case a friend wants to stop by and dock their boat. I think I'm gonna put on a ladder. Over here on the back side for the kids. And uh, some canoe racks. So we can store our toys in the dock. Just drag those over here. As we can see when we're dragging everything over, they just snap to where they belong. Um, and then I'm also going to put on a, a couple of anchor posts. Maybe uh, maybe I'm going to be tying my boat up for the season. I want to make sure it stays put in those uh, those summer thunderstorms. Okay, so there we have it. That's what I'm going to do for my dock here. Um, again, anything that you want to delete, you just click on it, and the red X comes up, and we can get rid of it. Um, and as you can see up here, our price has been populating this whole time as we went through. Okay, so we're on step four out of five. Let's hit next. Now, uh, this is where we enter all of our information. As we can see over here, we have a diagram. It shows where our braces are. It shows what our leg lengths are. Um, shows everything there. If we were to click over here, we can view our parts list. There's everything we're gonna be getting with this package. X that out. Um, for delivery, you can either pick it up at the warehouse or we can ship it to you. Let's, for this example, click uh, ship my doc to me. Let's just enter in a zip code. Hope it works, 012250. Okay, so that worked. Um, so we can see down here, uh, there's our there's our net amount, our shipping price is updated. Um, oh, look at the text in there. Let's put in a real one, then it'll probably work better. There we go, now the text is gone. So this is, I think, probably like a main zip code or something like that. Um, so uh, we can also pick up at the service center, and that will save you a few bucks. And your service center you'd be picking up at would be uh, the closest one to here. Right here is a link where you can actually click this, and you can see where all the service center locations are for yourself. Um, and then, uh, so suppose I want to save this, what I would do is type in my email address and my name. And then if I hit finish right now, 
this will go to my inbox. So I can, then I can take this and I can forward it to, you know, Uncle Jim or Aunt Sally or whoever else needs to see what, what I got going on here, wife, husband, all that stuff. Um, there's also an option here to submit it to Best Made Docs for approval. If I click that, it opens up a phone number and comments. Hey Joe, how does this look? Okay. Um, typically I won't reply to these unless you've checked that. So if this is something where you're getting ready to place an order and you want to just make sure that this, uh, that you didn't do anything crazy or weird, or that I don't see anything, it'll be a problem. Um, you would want to click this and then write a comment there that you want me to follow up with you. Okay. So over here we can see there's our price, there's our shipping amount, our shipping discount because we decided to go to the service center. No tax amount on this one because it's outside of New York state. And uh, last thing to do is hit finish. So from there, uh, you can see it says uh, to go check your email. Um, so we've successfully submitted it, and if you, you should be able to find it in your email address. So, you know, it's a great tool that you can use to communicate with members of the family. Um, you can save yourself a whole bunch of different designs and kind of think about it for a few days, decide which one you want to go with. Um, a lot of power there. You can see every piece that you're going to be getting, uh, you know, cross braces, legs, all that stuff. So it's a great tool. And then you should use it.